Right, so um, this properties of logarithm square puzzle is actually the um, paper pencil review that I have for your quiz on properties of logarithms. I really like this puzzle um, in case you're wondering what you're supposed to do with it. This is something where you would have to print. You would have to print this page and then you would want to print or draw a blank copy of this page. Okay, but you would need to print this page. So um, there's also going to be a practice quiz and it's learning. So if you can't do this paper pencil one um, or you can't do it as a puzzle, that's okay. The way this works is um, you can do it one of a couple ways. You can cut all the pieces out first, and as you know, with a puzzle, if it's going to go in a corner, you would only um, want to have like, a corner piece when you put it into the blank puzzle, is only going to have writing here and here. Whereas this puzzle piece is going to have writing here, here, and here. There's no writing along the edge. The center pieces are the only ones that would have writing all around, okay? What you're doing is you're trying to match up a, um, an expanded logarithm with a condensed logarithm. So let's see if we can find one and do that real quickly. Um, I'm looking for one. Let's see, let's just pick um, this one right here. This says log of 2 minus log of y. And I know subtraction means division, which would mean this is log of 2 divided by y, which is right here. Which means when I put these puzzle pieces into my puzzle, these need to match up like side by side like this. Okay? So what you can do is you can start to do some of the solving while you have all of them to look at like this. Like I could say, oh, okay, this goes with this. Maybe I'd want to put a squiggly line under this, and I could put a squiggly line under this, and I know my two squiggles have to match up. Let's do another one. Um, how about this? Log of 5 plus log of x minus log of y. That would mean 5 times x divided by y. So log of 5 times x divided by y, which is right here. Maybe I want to circle this one, and I want to put a circle around this one. I could do that. I could start using stars or smiley faces, or maybe I have highlighters or colored pencils, and I can start trying to solve. And then when I go to put my puzzle pieces in the puzzle, this and this have to line up with this piece here would be, instead of this saying log of 5xy, this right here would have to say log of 5x divided by y, whatever matches up right here. Okay? Um, hopefully that makes sense to you. Okay, that, that's as much of an explanation as I can give you, but I do, I know when I did it, I did, um, I kind of did some of the work before I started before I cut out. Like I can see right here, log of 5x, this one right here, I'll put a little smiley face there. That's going to go with log of 5 plus log of x. I'm going to want these two to match up. Those puzzle pieces are going to fit together in a sense. Okay? Hopefully that helps. If not, stop by uh, my office hours or email me and we'll set up a time and I'll try and help you with this. Okay?